All right, all right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode here on Cigar Sherpa. If it's your first time here, uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We really need the support. Uh, if you're a regular here, welcome back. We appreciate the support. Um, so today I'm going to continue on with the kind of the how-tos that I was working on the last couple days, like yesterday and the day before. Um, and this is another question that I get asked a lot. In fact, I just got asked probably an hour ago was the latest. Uh, Michael James asked that, uh, well, he wrote in and said, you know, Laird, I've been smoking cigars for two to three years and I'm having trouble identifying the flavor notes. You know, it's the best way. And that is that that's very common. OK, because if you don't have somebody there coaching you, like, for instance, when going back to 96, 97 time frame, 98, when I started smoking cigars, we did not have YouTube. We didn't even have Internet. We had Internet, but Google wasn't out just yet. Uh, that was a few years after. But basically what I was doing was reading Cigar Aficionado magazine. You know, they always had the reviews there, the blind reviews, and they had all these taste and notes. And I'd rush out and buy the cigar that got the highest score. And I'd go to smoke it. And I'm expecting to get all this cinnamon and leathery you know, pencil shavings, whatever they were saying. And I just wasn't getting it. Um, I, you know, even though they were there, I just wasn't tasting them. So basically what I've done today is I'm going to put together my process for teaching people how to taste notes. And it's not my process. I didn't invent this. This is just common sense. Okay. Um, and I'm sure there's other videos out there, but this is how Laird Mayhew is going to teach you or guide you to picking up cigar notes, okay? Unfortunately, even after you watch this today, uh, it may take you some time to develop, okay? Because number one, they're not flavors, okay? These are not infused cigars. They're not flavored cigars. So unlike a flavored cigar you get from the gas station or an infused cigar that you can get at your tobacco store, those things are infused and saturated with flavors, syrups, I don't know. I don't, I really don't get into those. I, I'm not a fan of them. So, but what they're, what you're doing is you're getting those palate flavors and you're getting a very strong concentration of those, uh, nuances. So you smell them without actually having to find them, I guess that it's making, they're making it easy for you. Okay. Um, when it comes to a premium cigar, non-infused, it's non flavored. It is a natural blending process to get those nuances and those notes out of the cigar the blenders really have to know what region uh what 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 priming which is the leaf of the plant you know the higher the leaf the more strong and peppery it's going to be the lower so there's a lot that goes into this matter of fact when you get in into how these things from seed until the time you get it the fact that you're paying sometimes six seven dollars for these things is going to blow you away you know, because if it was done here in America, you know, even the cheapest cigar is going to be, you know, 15 bucks, you know. So anyway, so I always start with asking if you retrohale, OK, and if you don't know what retrohaling is, you need to start. You need to learn how to do it. What retrohaling is, is pulling the smoke into your mouth, OK, and letting the smoke roll out of your nose without inhaling it, okay? I was a cigarette smoker for a ah, long time, longer than I care to say. I haven't smoked now for cigarettes for about a year. Um, and, you know, I quit on and off, but I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. But being a cigarette smoker, you're used to inhaling the smoke and then you blow half of it out your mouth. Some comes out your nose. Sometimes you blow it out your mouth and goes up your nose and recycles itself. Um, so it kind of came naturally to me. So basically, without doing a whole program on just that retrohaling, you just you got to learn how to get the smoke to go out of your nose. Okay, and by that I don't mean getting all the the smoke and blowing it straight through your nose because that's a little strong and it's going to water your eyes up. Uh, what typical what I do is I'll take a puff of the cigar, I'll let about uh, sometimes about a quarter to half of the smoke come out of my mouth and then the rest will just kind of mix in and roll out my nose. And the reason why you have to do that is you only have five 
I think it's five taste receptors on your palate in your mouth. Okay, so you're going to get the sweet and the salty and you're going to get the hot, you know, the spice and stuff like that. You got five of them, but in your sinuses, you've got over 60 of them. Okay, that's why if you take away someone's ability to smell, they won't taste food the same. Okay, over half of these, the tasting sensation you get is coming from smell. So with that, learn how to retrohale and then come back to doing what I'm doing here. If you're already retrohaling, great. Okay. Um, and to touch back on it, again, these aren't flavors that I'm referring to when you hear me or anybody else uh, give a review and we're like, uh, I'm picking up hints of uh, it's got nutmeg or it's got cinnamon or baking spice. Okay. Those are nuances. Okay. They're smells. Kind of like if you ever tasted something and it reminded you of a smell, like you ever put a piece of cheese in your mouth and gone, wow, I don't know what dirty feet taste like, but this, or smelly feet taste like, but this kind of tastes like dirty feet smells. Okay. It's a nuance. Okay. So that's what you're going to have to learn how to pick up out of the cigar smoke are the nuances. Mm. Okay. I'm not very good at editing yet. So you're just going to put up with me smoking this cigar. I'm smoking the Monte Cristo Ciudad de Musica, my afternoon smoke. All right, so basically what I recommend you do is go into your spice cabinet, okay? If you don't have a spice cabinet, go into your wife's spice cabinet. And if you live at home with your mama, go into her spice cabinet. You need to pull out the spices you'll typically see or hear or read about in um, cigar reviews. So you're going to want to have cinnamon, okay? Uh, you're going to want to get some red pepper, I'll say some fine red pepper, okay? You're going to want to get ground cloves. Uh, you're going to want to get ground sage, even though sage is not a, it's not a, a nuance you're going to pick up typically in cigars. There is hints of it sometimes, and it's just good to know, um, you know, to have that on your, your smelling palate. You're going to want to get all spice. Okay. It's a baking. These are general baking spices. Okay. Um, you're going to want to get you some crushed red pepper. Okay. Which is what you put on pizza, some vanilla. Okay. Uh, not so much vanilla for smell or taste. We all kind of know what vanilla tastes like, okay? It's a sweet flavor that we get on our uh, on our uh, palates, but that vanilla cream, creamy vanilla flavor is something that we kind of know. Same thing with like milk chocolate. We all kind of know that. We grow up eating it. Um, go ahead and get you some coffee bean. Look at those coffee beans. See how oily, oily they are? That's good beans. Okay. Um, and then get you some ground coffee, okay? Because believe it or not, the smells are similar, but they're a little different. Uh, go get you some dark chocolate, a piece of dark chocolate. If you don't know it, a lot of people don't know what dark chocolate tastes like. Okay. You'll try to, you know, smell it, but dark chocolate is something you're going to get really on your palate. And, and it works as a good palate cleanser. If you're smoking a bunch of cigars or you want to transition from one cigar to the other, you eat a little tiny piece of this, cleanse your palate. Um, a lot of times you'll hear people talk about, uh, oh, I got a citrus flavor, citrus or orange peel. Well, get you an orange peel, okay? And then also you just get you one whole. That's a, uh, a key lime. Okay, and then, you know, there's other notes that are in cigars like cedar, okay? Or open up your humidor, okay? So there you go. Get all of those and familiar, familiarize yourself with the smells of these things. Like one of the big things that I pick up in cigars a lot and that I really like is when I get that baking spice, that all spice uh, and, and cinnamon, it's a nuance, okay? Some cigars have a high nuance. Like I smoked a La Flor Dominica, double Lajero. It was a Robusto or, you know, bigger Corona size. I don't remember the exact size, but I was getting like some, some sweet um, candied, cinnamon almost like the candies it's just you know it just reminds me of it doesn't mean it's going to taste like a flavored stick but you go ahead and you break these out and familiarize yourself with the smell of them okay and once you let's see i mean it, all of this sitting on the table together open with the lids open reminds me of a tobacco cigar smell already so you know cinnamon allspice ground clove even red pepper crushed red pepper that's kind of a new one for me um, I just started picking up some nuances, especially in this See You Die Day Musica by Monte Cristo. I get some red pepper, and it's not because it's burning my my uh, my mouth. I just it smells like it. I get that nuance, that note of crushed red pepper, uh, black pepper, white pepper, red pepper. Um, 
it's more you kind of get like a uh when you retrohale you'll feel it it's like a burn like pepper like you put pepper on your tongue you kind of feel it on there you kind of taste it very common in cigars um also what i didn't mention leather okay a leather jacket fine leather this is a fine leather coat right here okay you smell it okay or my my travel my travel door fits into this handy dandy little purse that my wife bought me but it, it holds all of my uh you know my travel humidor holds all my accessories my butane and everything and it goes everywhere with me but it's a very fine leather okay so you smell that and you will pick up those nuances when you smoke a cigar. So that's what we're talking about when we give out these flavors. So in closing, what I recommend you do is you watch a review, whether it's my review or somebody else's review, or you read a review where they got those flavor notes and go into the spice rack and pull out those flavor notes. Okay. Uh, pull out your allspice, your ground cinnamon, your red pepper, your black pepper, uh, your leather. Okay. If it's, if it's got a leathery note, uh, and, and smoke the cigar along with the mm. hey I talked my cigar, my cigar out hold on a second mm. got me when I was purging okay so follow along with the reviewer either reading or watching the video and and see if you can pick them up like if he says I got a, a like a fine black coffee or a roasted roasted coffee you know smell your coffee beans Okay, we know what coffee tastes like. Most of us do anyway. Speaking of that, where's my cup of coffee? Because I was drinking a cup. Nope, that wasn't it. Uh, your coffee bean. Someone said that coffee bean will be different than like ground coffee. Okay, then you'll have French roast coffee. And that's just you're just going to have to pick up. Okay, you're going to have to drink black coffee or uh, even sweetened coffee. We all kind of know what sweetened coffee tastes like because most of us start off drinking our coffee like that anyway. So... That's about as good as I can tell you, man. And like I said, I wish that you could do this and then right away pick it up and uh, go for it and be there. But, you know, it's going to take some time. Like I said, I've been at this for 22 years and, you know, I'm still learning things. I'm no expert at this, okay? You know, I'm just a guy that knows a little bit and I'm just kind of passing on what I know. And if you get something from it, you do. And if you don't like it, well, then, you know, do your thing. But anyway, mm. oh, there is another note. See, there's another note that I, I, I wanted to bring, but I don't carry pencils around with me. Get you a number two pencil. If you like light-bodied cigars, and smell the tip of that, okay? Smell the pencil. Smell the tip where the lead is, and then smoke your light-bodied cigar. And I bet you're going to pick up uh, a nuance of that pencil in that uh, light-bodied cigar. It's a, I guess it's a, it, it's a nuance that people like because I see it in cigar aficionado reviews all the time. I'm not a fan of them. But anyway... Uh, Cigar Sherpa Laird Mayhew here, you know, reminding you, be polite to everybody that you meet, but, you know, always have a backup plan in case you need to shoot them in the face. And let me know if this helps you, uh, especially to Michael James, man. I appreciate you reaching out and subscribing to the page. Uh, welcome to the cigar world. He said he's been at it for two to three years. And believe it or not, that's, that's a good amount of time. But in the cigar world, you're still a baby. Um, but, you know, by watching reviews and, 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 and delving into it, I mean, you'll have this stuff down pat in, in, in no time and you'll be, you know, maybe doing your own reviews and stuff like that. So anyway, have a good one.